cool. So we sold that one. It's the same thing. So now these red doors are open. Now my question is, do I have to go back to all those other red doors I saw before? Or do I proceed? And will it automatically take me to all those other red doors? I don't know. It automatically takes me to the others. I think. This is the first room we were in where we saw a red door, wasn't it? Look like it. Oh, there's a green door. I honestly can't tell anymore where I've been and where I haven't. I thought I had been here. I thought this was the very first room. But now I'm not sure. get the uh, guidance and all but it's not really clear is it going to go back to the beginning to see what's behind that very first red door. Uh, it all looks the same. That's where I came from, isn't it? Oh god. Mm-hmm. Down we go. I hope this isn't a huge waste of time. If it is, I'll speed up the video. So as not to bore everyone. I might do that anyway for this part, for the running.
Oh my god, this ship is endless. I mean, we saw it was a large ship, but seriously. It's probably only like but less than a quarter of the whole ship. There it is! That's the very first one we saw, isn't it? Oh god. I have no memory of this place. This is where the slugs were being made. This is where the wrestlers were. The wrestlers were the very first thing I encountered, weren't they? They don't remember. Right. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah. yeah, this is where the entrance was, I think. Yes, it was. Awesome, so. Um, Supervillain Rictus has captured us. He used a clue scattered around the villain ship to win his devious game and escape his evil clutches. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh, really. It's not very funny, Fatima. We're stuck. We might all die. Although we are the heroes, and supervillains never actually kill the heroes, do they? To be honest, I'm not that familiar with my super villain, superhero lecture literature. But we'll assume the heroes always win. So, first red door was this one. Ah, storage room. So it was smart to come back here after all. I'll open that. Bracers are gonna be semi useless, aren't they? Doubles weapon bonus for beat attacks, and what does that do? Increases beefiness two levels. But I can sell them. Nothing else. That was it. Okay, well, better than nothing. Just because we're going through the whole thing again anyways, just making sure I didn't miss anything uh, anywhere.
sí, 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 sí. All right. That's pretty cool. Whatever that is. Uh, so we've got this one. We'll just follow it down, see where we get to. It won't lead us to the end because we'll have to go through the green door for that. So let's uh, fight these.
noise. Computers, computers, aha. Seems interesting. No, it's uh... Okay, that's a new uh, special skill for Democritus once we get back to send the station and can talk to the engineer. That's good. That last one got me confused with the stupid button pressing. Um, there's nothing else here, so that's good. We like that, we like dead ends in our labyrinths. It means we can happily explore everywhere else. Oh, now. Uh, I think it's that way. I think. I hope. Let's see. Is the fish? I honestly can't remember. No, it was the other way, wasn't it? Damn it, Rictus! The master plan is really to have you run around this ship for the entire time until you die. He doesn't care about his minions, of course. He's a villain. Alrighty. Okay, this is where we left off. Uh, actually... Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah. So this is where we found the taco, this is where we uh, decided to return, so we can go further now. Another safe point. Alright, right. Uh, I think it's... Which way to go? This way? This way, who knows? Let's go this way first. Probably have been here already. Alrighty, this is just. Hopefully, we'll get some good loot.
came from so hard to tell this is not where we came from although this means we need to investigate the other corridor superheroes shield cell now that is interesting because there were two exits in that previous previous room so not this one but the room before this and if this is the one that continues on it means we need to check out the other one first. So that one. Okay, this leads to another red door. Is that the one that leads to the green door? I don't remember. It probably does. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Why is this place so complicated? I have no idea anymore what the best course of action is. Like, will there just be storage behind the green door? I don't know. We'll check it out. We'll save first. In case it does teleport me to a boss battle of some sort. Yes. Now, what order should this be in? The order that we encountered the beasties? Or this order? Because then it would be the restless first, then the fish, then the robot, then the slugs, the slugs and then the medical guys. Okay, so it's not that order. So it's restless first, then the slugs, then the medical people, then the fish, and then the robots. Oh, nothing happens either way. Maybe I got it wrong? Maybe I got it wrong. So again, fish, robot, slug, medical. No, it's not opening. Uh, maybe there's an entirely different. Okay, this is the start. Oh, okay, it starts at robots. And then slugs. Then, then the medical, okay. So I just got the um, start wrong. Let's try again. Robots. Uh, slugs. 
butchery people restless fish All right. Green door. Oh no. See, this brings us somewhere else entirely. So we'll go that other way because I want to get that bug if at all possible. If that's where this leads us. miss all the good loot and the special skills and the super things. Uh, and we found a shield cell, didn't we? Superhero shield cell. Awesome. Okay, keep that. Keep that. Again. Hero Moss. That is awesome. Wrong button. Because that is for the mug mugs. Should have just finished this uh, this round. Oh well, all the way back again now. Should have a map of this place or something like an easier to read map than the one that just shows squares and this is where you are. Cause that's not very clear, is it? This is where we've been. Everything is super unclear. Yeah, yeah, this is the entrance. Awesome. Ugh. It's that way, I hope. <laughs> I really should <laughs> try to find some way of uh, finding out which way to go. <laughs> so difficult though, everything looks the same. There we go. Back to our green door. Save uh, villain ship. Here we go.
Wow. Does this look like you will get ambushed? I don't think you can get ambushed in this game. Like, enemies are always placed in, in the room you'll fight them. Go up here. Oh. Let's go check that door. Maybe it leads to storage. It does. And there's absolutely nothing in here. Really? Really? Like nothing? Oh well. What a waste. Everybody ready?
these robots are tough. Well, at least we get good money from them. Let's heal ourselves a bit. I just want to mention that uh, during the battle you could see that both Boots and the uh, Democritus can't actually do the top ti uh, level um, of their mistech because there's not enough harmony and that is in fact shown here uh, I think it might be the Miss Affinity that um, does that, but I'm not sure. So she's got excellent affinity, but they don't. So I'm not sure because it, it calls it harmony, but then affinity in the skill. Uh, level, so I'm, I'm not sure if that's what it is, but I think that's what it refers to. If not, then I have no idea. Off to engineering, are we? Oh, I can glitch through the box. Awesome. Who knew? Righty. Oh, this looks interesting. I uh, should have gone the other way first, of course. It's always the case, isn't it? What is this? Nothing. There's absolutely no point in coming here. More cool purple stuff, I guess. Mm. Make sure I'm not missing anything anywhere. Because we're never ever coming back here after we get off, of course. Because why would we? It's a villain ship. Nothing here, okay. Safe to go. Aha. Uh -huh. something cool here no oh another elementor host cool how many have we got now let's see we've got this one four that's pretty good don't have that much bugs yet though, especially these. Hmm. Well, that's for later. Oh, there we go. Hey there, Bafo ship you got here. <laughs> I shall kill you with death. <laughs> the bastard took our mistake. I 
actually do anything. Nope. She'll be the healer. Still her pain pirouette is loaded up of course. Thankfully, the mock does a fair amount of damage. His boots sure isn't. Uh, no heal, boots some more. The only reason I like Rose more is because Rose actually does a lot of damage to many enemies at once. And Stilettos only damages one enemy at a time. <laughs> I like the comic book effect though. It's like watching Batman. Why always stiletto? What does he go against? Uh... Oh. 
right in the crotch. I have no idea if there's any point in attacking the minions or if you just need to concentrate on Rictus himself. Minions don't do really that much, I guess. There we go. That's a lot of uh, experience. Nah, ha, ha. Did we win? Does this mean we're free? You better believe it, mister. We're in charge now. This ship is ours. <laughs> Not bad for a bunch of... Suddenly, Boots remembers what happened when Italian Man thought he had defeated Rictus during the Villain Crisis crossover. Yep. Defeated by his army. Nice going, Boots. You got us in this mess. Get us out. So yeah. We're in prison now. Can't get out. He has a horrifying thing. Is there a time minder nearby? There is right over there. Let's start talking to people. Hey, Democritus. Hey, wait. Our scientists can't find anything to disable this force field. This one, eh? Go away, I'm in a bad mood. Creep food. I've got problems with my glands. My perspiration sacks are bloated with water. It's very unpleasant. Ugh. I can imagine. You there. You look normal. 
Jackolingo. None of these clowns will save us. What chance do we have? I've been here ten months and not one of them has lifted a finger to help us. Take that little freak headwork, for instance. He could read the mind of a guard and find out a security weakness to exploit. exploit. Except he's too busy communing with the harmonic melody of the universe to bother. Couldn't Multidude have created dozens of duplicates of himself to overpower the guards when they put you in here? The only hero with a real chance of saving us sits in his cell, drinking all day. No one knows what's wrong with him. It's like El Puño has given up on life. It's sad. Rictus keeps the booze flowing to make sure he's too sloshed to rescue us. I've been cooped up up here for 10 months. I've seen him come and go. We've had some characters. There was one guy who had the power to turn into different types of bread. <laughs> he was a lovely loaf of cinnamon walnut raisin bread when Galactic Goat ate him. Oh yeah, and how could I forget the guy with a head made out of gelatin? He was a real winner. Why couldn't I be locked up in here with the golden strumpet or oh, whammo woman? Class, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so these are all superheroes captured by the supervillain. Or maybe other supervillains too. Amazing Forso, you are weakness, I am strongness. Take this and maybe one day I will kill you fairly. Ah, another set of those. Cool. Maybe I should... Beefiness isn't really good. Alrighty. So what else we got? Multidude zero. Okay. Welcome to luck up, dude. I hope you didn't have any plans this year. With El Puño down in the dumps and drunk as an owl, escape doesn't seem likely. This guy can copy himself. Unless they wander out of sight, I can absorb them back into me as quick as a blink. Ugh. We have met guys that looked like him. So El Puño uh, Boots used to read his comics and that kid in Center Station had a doll of him. Mug Mug also had a doll, one of the Mug Mugs. So that's him, eh? He does seem a tad drunk. I need to find a code for his thingy. Mm -hmm. The sole purpose in life is to chronicle the lives of the amazing beings who make their home on the planet Krapton. My mind is brimming with thrilling stories. What would you like to know about? A brief history of Krapton. So, an unexplored Sender Spike sent an expeditionary team to a remote area of the universe somewhere near the Wu Chan system. They discovered a crystalline planet operating under bizarre comic book rules. It was the superhero world of Krapton. The noble inhabitants of the planet, tired of being constantly abducted and saved by the superpowered population, had long since moved away. Many supervillains constructed massive starships and sent them out to roam the galaxy in search of victims to bring back to Krapton. That's where we are now. The source of their superpowers is a mystery. Some people believe that abnormal radiation from Krapton's sun is responsible. Others believe the powers were a gift from a godlike being in search of quality entertainment. Twenty years ago, two enterprising brothers created a line of comic books based on the real-life adventures of the Krapton heroes and, heroes and villains. Rage of the Fist, 
was the flagship of Krypton Comics until lagging sales and a general disinterest in superheroes put the publishers out of business for good. These are the twilight years. Most of the major heroes and villains are gone or simply specters of their former selves. Only a handful, like Rictus, continue to play the game. What else would you like to know about? We did meet another superhero um, on Hephaestus in the slums. There was the... Um, uh, I can't remember what she called herself, but transparent lady. Character data sheets. Right. Fruit picker. Tunnel of wind. Forso gained his powers after flying his damaged spacecraft through a region of space known as the Newton Field. His many abilities include super strength when the wind blows, <laughs> X-ray breath, and the power to eerily imitate it. Wounded... A wounded what? I couldn't see it. A cat. <laughs> Alright. Creep food. We saw him. He's a super villain, actually. First appearance, Band of the Gland. Creepfoot was Richter's right-hand man until he attempted to double-cross him during the fall of the hero saga. His powers have long since been taken away, so he's harmless, basically. Dr. Hush Hush. He must be around here somewhere. He's a scientist. First appearance, none, none whatsoever, although highly intelligent. Okay. Paco El Puño Estrella. When El Puño becomes angry or irritated, he acquires rage might and is capable of punching through large barriers. Two years ago, he lost the ability to fly, the reasons for which are unknown. Headwork. I can't pronounce that name. Right. In addition to being a powerful telepath, Headwork also temporarily extends his powers to anyone he makes physical contact with. His blatant disregard for individual privacy makes him unpopular wherever he goes. Invisolad. He's a mathematician. Invisolad is currently in a state of permanent invisibility, having lost his ability to reappear after being strenuously probed by evil Gigatoon's brainer stick. Oh, alright, poor guy. Crapto, the hero hound. Real name Sebastian, <laughs> occupation adventurer. Uh, Crapto has limited invulnerability, the power of flight, and a super enhanced sense of smell. Multi dude, we met him. Uh, adventurer. Multi dude has the ability to create duplicates of himself who act independently and have free will. He can also absorb the duplicates at will as long as they're in visual range. Yeah, we saw that. Susan Street. Real name Susan Street, a journalist. Of course, every good hero universe needs journalists. Especially female ones. Power Susan is incredibly adept at hiding among blankets. Yep. I'll be here if you change my mind. My books are never closed. Alright, hey, Stiletto. This is one tight drum. Nice going, Slick. How about you drop the hero act already? You've gotten us into enough trouble. Okay, you figure it out. Perhaps that flamboyantly dressed gentleman in the prison chamber can help us. Yes, perhaps. We can get him out. Our situation appears rather dire, doesn't it? We have our top minds working on a solution. Good luck with that. Is that Susan Street? Yes, it is. What's your power? N nothing. No offense, but you don't look like you warrant detention in the high security cell. Well, neither do you. You're just a journalist. Let me guess, you got good slags of Mystic? Well, can't be that good if Rictus gave them back to you before putting you in here. That's nice of him. So it's, yeah. So we got all of our Mystic back. Of course. Ah, oh, that's the little dude who uh, can read minds. So we'll talk to him later. First, that's a uh, multi-dude. 
Get away from me. I'm trying to be inconspicuous. Will you knock it off? If Multitude Zero notices me, he might absorb me again. And I don't want to go back. Stop it, dude. <laughs> Two months, eh? In this prison. That's pretty good. Oh. Sorry. Pretty good, though. Better luck next time. You there. I'm guarding the emergency parole button. Dr. Hush Hush. Dr. Hush Hush, I'm a huge Rage of the Fist fan. I am. You recognize me from comic books, huh? Personally, I don't think the graphic novels did my agreeable personality any justice. Aren't you surprised by my genial nature? Yeah. Also, this happens a lot when you're in dialogue. The uh, people around you start glitching out because they want to pass through you and they can't. While I understand that artistic liberties must be taken to make characters more dramatic, did they have to make me so short on looks? Isn't life hard enough for intelligent men? Yeah. So, what's an emergency parole button? It's better if I don't tell you. Super villains have a sick sense of humor. Let's leave it at that, lest the truth drive you mad. Why are you guarding it then? Because Invisolad is going to push it. Ever since he lost the ability to become visible, he's gone off the deep end, doubting his own existence and talking like a crazy man. My fear is that he'll sneak up on me and press the button. I'm trying to jury a device that can locate his position anywhere in the room using sonar, but I'm having trouble doubling a stick of gum as a frequency transducer medium. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bevel rubber washer, would you? N no. Do you know the security code for El Puño's prison cell, though? Yes! But I'm not giving it to you. You'll just hound him for an autograph and he's in no mood for fans. You are nice. But... Besides, the code was hard to acquire. I'm not going to just give it away. Uh, no, I don't. Move along, giant. Will you stop pestering me for the code? It's not yours to have, and it's not mine to give. But I need it. Get out. Oh, fine. There is Crapto, the hero hound. Oh, look at him. Oh, he looks a bit sad. My dear child, come closer to me. I am harmless. I am but a dancer on the fringe of thought space. Yep. Yep, that's the guy. Would you like to try? Get it, you fried fabuloid's brain doing that in Power Patrol 3. Yes, Boots does know his comics. All through that, Fabuloid's mind was completely wiped of all memories by my power. The event was drastically over-dramatized in the periodicals. The adverse reaction was a result of mental conditioning he previously suffered at the hands of evil Gigatoon's mind foam. To read another person's mind is a life-affirming experience, my child. Uh, I will try it then. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. That was my belly button, but no matter. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. I will. What's the planet thinking? Excuse me, sir. Our planetary senses are picking up a strange field emanating from you. Yep, I do feel all right. I guess you can't read the mind of a planet. He doesn't think anything. What's this lady thinking? Birds could build a nest in my hair. Ugh. Right. Stiletto. <laughs> that won't work, stiletto. Have you seen how many guards there are? <laughs> oh. 
Oof. Whale boy. Oh, he wants his own comics. Which one? She hangs out with planets, yes. <laughs> Don't think she's interested in you though. <laughs> I might. At least we're not in a Gorian prison. You don't think anything, do you? Uh, planet doesn't think about this floaty thing. I see you're sharing Hetwork's power. Be careful. It will give you nightmares, you know. But it really, stay out of my brain. I know things that could kill you. In fact, have killed you in different realities. Oh, like that time I forgot to how to fight and I got killed in my first battle and then reloaded. I mean that sort of reality. What's the dog thinking? Are you reading my mind? Oh, how glorious. Do you know how frustrating it is to have inadequate vocal cords from human speech? Everyone treats me like a dumb animal. It's maddening. I'm feeling really drained right now. All my senses are dulled from dehydration. You need something to drink. And I know just the disgusting place to get it. Ugh. Really? Okay. I'll, um... Go back to you. One second. Think any longer. You there. Mm-hmm. back two nine two eight two nine eight two oh well, it was definitely two nine something so that's that's good I need to talk to a uh, gland dude over there yep <laughs> All righty. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, ugh, I'll make milk your sweat glands. It's the, it's the filthy sock all over again. What's wrong with the guys who wrote Beast Quests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sound really doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, you really shouldn't have. Ugh, and now. Uh, poor doggy. Dogs will eat anything. Ugh, no, I need to... I need to... I can't talk to a dog anymore. Make me mind read again. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, don't want to know where that water came from, to be honest, but... Yes. Shit, never mind. <whistles> All right, so what have we got? 
Find Invisalad. He's hiding in a far corner of the yard near the entrance door. That would be over there. Here he is. The number is... What is the number? Fifty. All right. I wonder if we can talk to him normally. I'm going to get rid of my thought things and see if I can talk to him. Yes, make it stop. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, thank you. No need to thank, I know, I know, but still. You there. Invisible lad. Yeah, don't push the button. <laughs> no clothing, eh? Because clothing can't go invisible. Yeah, indeed. It must be weird, though, to be invisible continuously. I understand that he's starting to doubt himself. Alright, so that dude said 29 something something something. Invisible was like 50, 50. So we're going to see if that helps, does anything. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Estrella. Oh, I've been a big fan for a while now, really. When you teamed up with Metallion Man in Tales of the Super Greatest, man, that was the best. I thought your giant-sized annual was one of the best issues in comic book history. No joke. That part when you punched evil Gigatune in the stomach and his eyes popped out, that was classic. Yo. What happened to your hair? <laughs> he got old. Perhaps our mission to Limbus will stir his interest. Hey, nice thinking, Grapeshot. Yeah, see, we're heroes too. Out to save the universe. You should join us. We could really use someone buff. No. Hey, look, I, I know we're not the union of superpowers, but we've still got what it takes. Hell, we've got a big planet on our team. That should give us some cred, right? Look at him. Fine, you work alone, I understand. At least help us bust out of here. We'll even do all the fighting. Just rage on and punch through this wall or something. No. But these people need your help. What kind of hero are you? Oh, forget it. Come on, guys. This guy's not the fist. Poor boots. Somebody hit the emergency for all button. <laughs> Is that good?
toe. <laughs> With his little paw stretched out. Oh no. All right, buddy. Time to snap out of it. Find the rage, find the rage. We're alarmed. Are you alarmed? We're at critical red, people. Shall I launch the executive order? Do it! <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Next issue. Gary Sherwin here with startling developments in the controversial Planets Abroad campaign. The diplomatic program that has the entire planet engaged in a groundbreaking mission to save the universe and improve interplanetary relations has run into a disastrous snag. In a dramatic turn of events, the High Council unanimously voted to return the planet to full size, <laughs> scattering Ambassador Sylvester Boots and company across the surface of Democritus. Now, the question on everyone's lips is, where are they? And will they survive long enough to be rescued? Stay tuned here for Round the Clock. So, stranded. Somewhere on the planet. It's better than dying in space. Damn storm died as soon as you stepped into town. Seemed like it was storming just for you. Well, enlarging the planet like that probably had something to do with that, so... You might want to turn tail and try your luck elsewhere, son. Been a nasty rash of disappearances these last few months. Townspeople and such. It was one only a quarter hour ago. Hell, people are gonna be curious about a stranger like you stumbling in so soon after the kidnapping. You better report to the Burgomaster's Manor if you know what's good for you. Let him ask you some questions. Clear yourself of guilt and such. We aren't an unfriendly town, but we aren't dumb either. So, this town looks very different than um, up there in the ring. Town with all this technology and weirdo looking people. These all look like humans and normal city. Well, town, village. Blue winter, cold and harsh. Yeah. Oh, that does sound good. <laughs> Peter, eh? My name isn't Peter. Let's save here. 